Hey, what's up, you guys? Graphic Electronics here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to render YouTube videos 1280 by 720 HD for YouTube. Now, this is actually very easy depending on your video size, as in depending on the dimensions. If it's 640 by 480, you might lose a bit of video quality, so I recommend making a widescreen video, but it still will work with those video dimensions. Now the first step of this tutorial of course is to import your media so just go to file import media and then find a video I'm just gonna import this one of a bear and click open and then now once you've imported your video just click on it and drag it down to your timeline and now you'll have your video of your bear now as you can see this video takes up this full entire preview area here if you have default settings now to change that to go widescreen you want to go up here where it's file go down to properties and now you'll come up with a bunch of project properties now if you want to get the best quality you can for your project you want to click right here where it says open and click match media settings after you've done that just click on the video again once you have imported it click on that same video click on open and then it'll have the settings for that video what like that video's default settings are but to make this widescreen you want to go up here where it says template click on the arrow and scroll down until you find HDV 720 by 30 P 1280 by 720 29.970 frames per second and click on that now you have that as your template there your width and height will be 1280 by 720 and your field order you want to set that to none progressive scan and it'll be on one of these three just keep it on none progressive scan for your pixel aspect ratio put it on 1.0000 square for your output rotation keep it on zero degrees original for your frame weight frame rate just set that as what that video's frames per second really are and normally it'll be on 29.970 ntcs or NTSC that's just default like that's like 30 frames per second so just keep it on that if your video is 30 frames per second and if not just change it to what your video is for your pixel format you want to set that as 32 bit floating point for your composition gra uh, gamma you want to set that as 1.000 linear for your full resolution rendering quality, click on the arrow and go down to best. It might be on good, but you want to have it on best. For your motion blur type, you want to set that as Gaussian, Gaussian asymmetric. And it'll be on one of these six. Just set it as Gaussian asymmetric. And for your deinterlace de method, set that as blend fields. Now it can be either on interpolated fields or blend fields. Keep it on one of those two. I'm just going to put it on blend fields. So just do that if you want to have the same settings. And then if you want to set all of your new projects with these settings, just click check this box right here that says start all new projects with these settings and then click apply. Now as you can see our video box or video preview box have got, has gotten significant, significantly smaller. And as also, you could also see that there are black borders on the video blocks. Now, there's a couple ways to take those black borders away. I'm going to show you a way to so you can keep the best quality. Now, it is going to cut the top and the bottom off of your video, but it will still be good quality. So, what you want to do is go down here where you have your event pan and crop and click on that. Now, this box should pop up. What you're going to want to do here is, first of all, up here where it says preset, you can click on the arrow and go down here where it says 16 by 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio and click on that. And now, as you can see, it is full screen there, but it did cut off the top and the bottom. Now, another way you can do that, if you don't want to have it like that, is just keep that on default. And this will keep the top and bottom. Just scroll down here and where it says source and then maintain aspect ratio you want to click on where it says yes and go down to no now as you can see it stretched our video out which th that does cause a little less quality so I'm just gonna go up to yes again and up here where it says preset and go to 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio and then we can exit that now we have pan and cropped our video to widescreen now the last step of this tutorial 
is to go to file render after you've finished editing the video and then you just want to name it like whatever you want to name it I'm just gonna name it as bear and then where it says save as type for the best quality you want to click on the arrow go down to your very bottom one Windows Media Video 9 or Video V9 and in brackets it has dot WMV that's the one that you want to choose and then down here where it has your template you want to just click on custom now for your project you want to keep the video rendering quality on best one of these four and keep it on best and now for your audio you want to keep that uh, check include audio for your mode go to CBR format Windows Media Audio 9.2 for your attributes, go to 192 kbps, 48 kilohertz, stereo, and AV CBR. And now for your video, you want to keep your mode on quality VBR, your format, Windows Media Video 9, image size, high definition, 1280 by 720. That's very important. And for your pixel aspect ratio, keep that on 1.000 square frame rate frames per second just keep that on whatever your videos default frames per second is seconds per keyframe put that on five and for your quality drag that up to 100 percent now go over here to bitrate and you wanna keep that on internet LAN so just check internet LAN and then uncheck ISDN if your video is or if ISDN is already checked and then all that you want to do now is you can save a template of this so you don't have to go through this every time. So to save the template, you just highlight that, delete it, and just name it whatever you want. Now you can name this YouTube High Definition. That's what I'm going to name it, YouTube High Definition. And then click this little uh, Save Template button, and then click OK. Now as you can see here where your template is, whenever you want to render a video, click on the arrow, go down to YouTube High Definition, and name your video, keep it on Windows Media Video 9, and click on Save. And then your video will render. So anyways you guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, and please rate, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. Anyways you guys, I, I will talk to you guys later.